All right, this is a different type of video. You know what, it's good enough, all right? And it's not focusing. <laughs> all right, hey everybody, welcome back. This is a, a sketchbook tour video. I saw one of these like a month ago and I was like, oh, that'd be, you know, that might incentivize me to like, a little bit of a jank setup here, but I've been trying to get better art for a while. I mean, I have these clips of like, I have this video, oh God, where I'm like showing off. These are some cool sketches, I'm not gonna lie. Those are cool little designs that I made more draw box bugs. I wanted to kind of go through this sketchbook on how I've progressed. Art is weird. Art is very personal. I'm kind of surprised at my own reaction to that, if you will. But this is from January 23rd, 24 to June 26, 24. And I'm recording this on the 30th of June. I kind of had to give it, a, I wanted to give it a few days. So I had some time to kind of think about it. But yeah, so this was in July of last year. I, I drew something, <laughs> I touched in August. It, Something I guess I was upset about. I'm not good at art, I think. Okay, this is a little bouncy. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna flip through. I put the dates, I like I, I wrote them in the US order, but in, you know, using Japanese characters. Some some perspective, a little mannequin thing. I got, I have a bunch of art books and stuff. This is not a bad cloak. I Clothing comes up a bit. This was cool. I kind of feel like I did an okay job with depth. If you can't tell what this is, this is a like the mouth of a snake <laughs> going back. I guess I started working Oink in the Chamber at the end of January, finally starting work. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna do concept art, ha ha ha. So this is Melee. There's gonna be a devlog for that out at some point. Maybe it'll be out already. Little pig, I liked it. Cause I had this idea of like, what if there's just pigs in, spy in like suits rolling around? This was kind of some like random mannequin practice. Whenever I don't know what to draw and I still don't, do, I still do this. It just, it didn't end up being spheres and cylinders and like old draw box stuff that I did like 20, 20 years ago. Stems and leaves. Leaves are going to come up. I finally kind of feel like I figured that out. This is, I think, a jest from chapter 155 of um, Return of Magic is special. W reading the webcomics and manga, like, I don't know. It, it feels not goofy, but just like I never had a phase where I drew stuff from anime or whatever and I, I still want to get good at drawing the things in my head and I, i'm kind of discovering why i want to learn to be better at art as i do more this was something i saw on pinterest i started using pinterest for references this is surprisingly good uh what <laughs> i must have i think i know exactly what book there's a i haven't really made it all the way through this one kind of like i don't end up reading them fully but it's nice to just have a resource to crack open there's two that i have been using pretty heavily but we'll get to that I, oh, I was doing a daily sketch at one point and I kind of was like at the end of the day was scribbles sometimes like this was I guess a good day in all consideration. This was not a good day. I tried drawing a face. I gave up quickly. Project. I write little notes to myself <laughs> throughout this as well. Yeah, this lacks often. I don't know if there was a reference. For some reason, the importance slash significance of references is finally setting in, especially with respect to Dropbox. Okay, so I had this course on Udemy by Neil Fontaine. Whether I'd recommend it or not, I'm not sure. It's very, not outdated, because art doesn't really get outdated, but he starts with his mannequin thing, so this is gonna come back. Birds, I keep drawing birds or wanting to draw birds. It's very strange. My shapes got kind of good. I don't, this was probably another Pinterest reference. Definitely was a Pinterest reference. I can almost think of the exact reference I was using. Uh, doodling i don't know what this guy's up to this was this kind of cool little bird surprisingly nice this must have been a dog um because i know the the draw box animal course is all about like attaching the snout i guess or something to the face properly i don't know i'm kind of speeding through this because it's not like we're gonna you know <laughs> this is so satisfying by the way i love flipping through completed sketchbook it just feels like its own sense of achievement Pinterest reference for sure. Well, I'm surprised I, okay, as long as it's not a phone, what is that? Must have been the Pinterest URL. So that's why I fear trying. Yeah, I wasn't happy with it. And I was also kind of like, I didn't do the picture justice. I still don't, I mean, I don't know if that was at the time, but definitely don't do the picture justice. Okay, some face and cloaks, spy pig again. This is again, more OITC work for my daily sketching. Yeah, today, this is all I did. Pay more attention to the input you're receiving. Evolve your plan. Intent? Lamp. I don't know what the hell that is. I think I tried to draw like a sword that was in perspective-ish, but it looks like a box. More patience with references for sure. Cloaks. Yeah, again, the cloaks are a recurring theme, <laughs> honestly. I don't know why, but I think clothing I find so fascinating. How clothes work in space. 
because like as i draw more and i find what i want to draw it's it's also like what i become interested in like with programming like there are certain things i want to work on coding and certain things i don't how things behave in space i just think is really fascinating an actual sketch of an imaginated scene oh yeah so this is <laughs> i remember what i was thinking about someone who kind of has the ability to control physics on themselves as an entity as well as other objects hanging on the wall anyway <laughs> this is my desk staying with my dad so the desk was kind of just there did i do the sketching workshop yet no i did the sketching workshop when i did watercolor stuff yeah okay so we'll get to that but um just kind of a drawing what you see for drawing i was still like okay what do i want to draw today like i have to do this every day because of my own arbitrary rules okay this shaking is really annoying i'm so sorry yeah the laptop obviously should not be the size of a tissue box <laughs> yeah so again just drawing stuff i'm seeing sweat lit little character i drew back in college on a different sketchbook i think it's a i wonder if i can find it sweat lit he's a little ink drop this is a bunch more draw box stuff oh do i not have the um the comic Man, this one has a lot of the same like i tried to do gestures i tried to like do all this stuff um hmm, this is still really shaky all right this should be better hopefully a lot less shakiness it's really janky okay sick yeah more gesture stuff attempts at it sweat lit you know maybe i'll come back to that one day forever remembering sweat lit again trying to just do dailies and like not really hitting it this was the void something is staring into the void this was from a character design quarterly magazine i have a whole bunch of them more pig from one of the chamber this was like also from cdq 14 page 27 a little good good little guy i, I think thumbnail sketching kind of becomes more imp important over time <laughs> so embarrassing i don't know who this is what i was thinking but i know i was rushing this is the crossbow for one of the chamber i was thinking side view top view for blender this is sketching out a map for oatc um this was a, a, a plush bunny i had behind a monitor a little design i was doodling with i guess that day this one oh and i was posting these daily sketches on art station which is what the little tabs are i did this week uh sketching workshop it was really fun and the the guy teaching it was all about kind of like watercolors and so we had basic watercolors and i have a different sketchbook with all the like 50 different prompts that we would go over for you know you can draw every day this is from the back of my phone this is a ben 10 alien from pinterest um just having fun coloring dude i remember being like coloring fun dude <laughs> kind of animals giving myself immediate feedback um i think i was definitely rushing a little bit we'll rotate that honestly this is not as terrible things always look worse at right after i draw them because i get i'm like i know everything that i feel like went wrong like this one, I probably gave up at some point and was like, all right, I'm just gonna go immediately to ink. I did pencil. I know you're not supposed to for Drawbox. I'm sorry. Uh, would recommend Drawbox if you're, I don't know how to draw. I don't know. I'm not a, you know, I'm not gonna try to spit advice. Like evidently I suck. Started coloring the pigs. Was like, ooh, it'd be cool to have different skins. This is me at my desk. This is my monitor. I don't know why I'm, am I lying down? Am I sitting there? Uh, Pinterest reference as well. Sucks, but it was more fun. Um, yeah, I kind of just tried to arms Pinterest reference again. This was like an anatomy thing. I feel like I have a good understanding of anatomy. I'm happy with this. This is cool. Definitely sketch it in pencil and then did pen over. Again, I was really interested in the folds of the hood. You can try to see him, like, you know, the cloak in the background. Got this old little hex bug thing. I saw at freaking Walgreens. So I was like, holy crap, childhood throwback. More of these shapes. These are going to come back. Um, it's funny. This other sketchbook this one how many shapes are in in it i just i forget how many of those i did and i don't know i feel like i definitely got better at time with time one of the things in drawbox that was taught is to connect forms but then put like more mass as another shape um this was one of my first attempts at a scene in my head so no reference obviously lacking many fundamentals i had some idea of the folds but i couldn't quite i don't know not even gonna try fold yet oh i didn't even okay try but first hue scene yeah that's a whole other more blobs more blobs animals yeah this is the mass thing that was these are the draw box references or this one is at least you're supposed to i don't know i, I don't fully understand it these blobs Ooh, i finally figured it out kind of but getting the blob over the other blob was it took a hot minute just kind of understanding how that worked in space and what exactly is going over 
yeah really think about how the shape falls and what parts hold it up i know my um handwriting sucks but like this blob right going over it doesn't quite it's kind of like this blob you're looking straight on at it but then this one you're kind of looking at it from the side which is not the intention so they're in different perspectives <sighs> i don't know what happened there but I, I just drew these at the bottom of a lot of different pages was happy with this i am happy with this hummingbird cool these three petals are okay i don't know what happened here yeah i kind of want animals to get to this point i don't know we'll see again same thing with the perspective issues i mean you can definitely see it here it's like you're looking at the blob from the side, but I want to be seeing it from the like from the front. I don't know how to cope with this. <laughs> it gets so hard to keep track of with the pen, which is why I did a, uh, a fair amount of draw box stuff in pencil. More blobs again. This one again. Is something just clearly is wrong in in there. I'll dis I'll discuss the solution I discovered. <laughs> That's a little bit of a tongue twister uh, at the end here. This is a cool flower. Kind of did okay with that. <laughs> But you can, this leaf here, this one too, I just was like, huh? Eh, all right. Again, did it in pencil with construction and then ink, ink, inked it. More blobs. At this point, I was still doing dailies, as you can see by the tabs. 50 posed mannequins was kind of like a quick, <laughs> I want a cat, I still want a cat. I want to get these to be stacked up more. I'd like to see more on the page. I think it would be cool to, because as you get more, the, the drop becomes way steeper. So it's like, it gets a little more difficult. And again, this one has like three different axes of perspective going on. More blobs, surprise. I'm already looked at this page, whoops. Uh, oh yeah, I was thinking about this because this is what I was talking about. I want to see more on the page and just kind of stacking them up. But like, what happened here? Oop, this is a ferret. Could have turned out okay in felt tip. Maybe start with rodents or animals that force you to focus on what you see, not what you think. It's very easy to, I don't know, have an image of a dog or a cat in your head. What? I, I gave up on this. Bird. Not bad, honestly. I, you can see I attempted the whole mass thing with the neck here. Um, the beak, honestly, kind of okay. This is starting to make more sense as time goes on. This whole attach it on the, you know, attach the plane on the sphere. <laughs> Too long. Yeah. More birds. Um, really like birds. I want to kind of come up with a tattoo idea that's bird related. I think speed is the best way to iterate at this stage of my drawing. I was just trying to, I get into line of action and gestures a little later and it just forcing yourself to get the important stuff has been a really helpful kind of thing to keep in mind, I guess. So yeah, more speed, more speed, mannequins. Drawbox has this 150 box challenge that I completed. I remember this. I came back, oh, it was January. I mean, these are in those videos I kind of showed at the beginning of the video, but this is, so I just, I will never forget these boxes. Sorry, not 150, 250 versus the, these boxes. I, I see improvement. There's obviously room for improvement, but I just was like 150 of everything. That is how I will improve. You know, 150 hands, 150 mannequins. So we're getting into mannequin territory now. Um, trying to little pose a little bit. I have a little wooden mannequin on my desk. Oh yeah, I was using um, some like, pose generation site that generates different people and i was trying to experiment with different proportions for different parts of the body from memory imo looking good yeah kind of getting the eight segment mannequin down more mannequin see not that bad trying to give myself credit some shapes i was probably bored doing something trying to trying to draw stuff within within boxes i come back to this a lot but more mannequins more mannequins um don't have been in your proportion work not sure if this was reference. It had to be reference. This is not. No way it's from memory. But yeah, just trying to draw the mannequin underneath. Three fourths view mannequin. More mannequin. Turning it around. This was from memory. I'm pretty sure. Um, or from imagination, I should say. This is from another web comic. More blobs. Seeming surprisingly okay, but no reference. Yeah, trying to get these sausage forms down on the legs is something that'll come with time. This is when I first got that clothing book, focusing on these different folds. Just becoming aware of them. Someone meditating, more mannequins. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> this rabbit, a really good friend of mine, uh, she's an excellent artist, gave me a compliment on this. And I was like, yes! She's like, this is a really cool rabbit. And I was like, not only was it recognized as a rabbit, but compliment came from a, a meaningful place, I guess. <laughs> This is from Solo Leveling, also from Solo Leveling. Failed first attempt, makes the rest easier. Sure, biggest pile yet. <laughs> Your worst pile yet, bro. <laughs> uh, I don't, Moto, more. I don't know what, 
What does it mean? What? Those little guys having a day and a half. More mannequin. This is, I think, Lady Palatina from a Pinterest reference. Using proportions good, but detail fell off. Oh, well, yeah, I lost it trying to get the face well, face good, and then I gave up. Did a little sketch of this guy, trying to modify it a little bit. He's just, he's just a little guy. Puffin. You know, I remember someone in front of mine gave me a comment on, like, making this a good triangle shape. This was a huge drawing because I was on the airplane and I had extra leg room because they were like, hey, want more leg room? I was like, yeah. So I sat by the safety door and I just draw my drew my feet. It's like okay-ish, but the main thing for me was that I took out my sketchbook on a plane in public and just went for it. I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember. No, I don't think I used pencil. I think I just was trying to go with the contour. No, I definitely used pencil. You can see the eraser marks. Trying to go with the contour thing. This is a marshmallow with link with wings and a beak that lit on fire. Don't know where that inspiration came from. Another ferret, I think. <laughs> Literally says auto demo. I followed along the auto demo. Outer demo on Drawbox. This was a rock doof. This was a Pokemon. Uh, the Pokemon generation thing where you can like combine them or whatever. And I was using it as like animal references. Like how would I think about this in construction? It kind of helps because in, in 3D live animals, the construction's are like very, not easy to see because I still suck at seeing it, but like, I don't know, it's in 3D space already. So seeing a 2D pixel art thing from memory, this just moment just meant a lot to me. And I was like, I want to be able to draw these a little more adamantly. Um, stopping while ahead, surprisingly okay in construction. Actually, I think this was the rabbit I got complimented on. Another Pinterest reference, Ghost Freak, saw this on Pinterest. Kind of drawing aliens was kind of a big inspiration. This is also another big one. I was in an airport in Amsterdam just kind of drew what i saw straight from pen i think i was explaining something to someone with this mielk little things because you know still doing the dailies i was in london at this time tempted to do leaves yes trying to do a cup project didn't work out kind of like that lamp still in london on the plane again i think back to back from denmark to london maybe maybe this was in denmark i can picture the lamp but i don't know where it was not important yeah this was someone's foot i'm kind of happy with how that turned out Started thumbnailing a little duck stealing bread, made that my Discord profile picture for a little while, some more shapes, some more blobs. I'm like kind of figuring the angle, the, like this is when I pinpoint like something's wrong as the angle drops off when it's falling behind. Little guy from Wanikani again. Another big sketch just because I was on the on the train for five minutes um, and drew a thing. Not from reference, I remember trying to do this and then drawing a cube and then someone lifting it, but eh. The, oh yeah, the cave mouth. I was kind of happy with this. I was thinking about seashell and the entrance to part of the level. Essence of the soul. Back to staring at a blank page. Yeah, this was me trying to stare at a blank page and angel devil, some metaphors there. I don't know. But I was happy with the texture on this and the fact that it like looks like you can actually go into the cave mouth. I'm trying to get better at understanding that YouTube does not have to be about metrics and just doing what's for fun because whatever. Okay, this is when I wanted to draw 100 rocks. Pretty cool. I like kind of enjoyed it. I definitely fell off. I don't know when I fell off, but this is another Benton alien, big chill. I think the idea with rocks is that there's very clear, distinguished planes for different shading. Uh, and again, in space, how does light hit this thing? How does, how does light form texture? Because texture is just light hitting things that are different, different materials, first of all, but then also like the, the feeling, you know, if there's bumps of plastic, they're going to look different than bumps of metal. Cool little shirt. Kind of happy with that. More rocks. This was from a manga smoking behind the supermarket with you. Wrote the title in Japanese because why not? Supan, though, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Just good. Again, kind of funny that I'm hitting my manga phase at, you know, adult life. Another Benton alien. Shocker. I was in Texas at this point. This was from Imagination. Um, I always start from the left when I try to draw stuff oh i was trying to draw one of the aliens i had in my head there's a yeah i'm not gonna try to explain it whatever this was okay you know what probably the best portrait i've drawn today um from an actor from a movie to do form intersections because i wanted to start doing form intersections as much as i do these blobs again this one it's hitting this second perspective it's really weird this one was kind of okay smoking uh, but the, yeah same manga that the guy looking away from the camera was these are fun shape and perspective and then just like cutting things out i don't know what happened to this guy over here this is my steam deck doc for characters don't start with an appearance start with an idea yes this is a realization i had um oh yeah isn't that true for all art and then i realized i think i should know how to say that in japanese and i almost did oh this is again supermarket trying to focus on and i think i gave up halfway through but yeah just trying to get feelings and emotions on a page and then like getting the shape language and then you don't have the character in your mind when you draw it. it it forms itself on the page and i think that was that's an important realization for me that i don't fully understand but as someone with a very visual mind definitely rush through this i think this was kiriko from overwatch um uh, bird freaking love this bird dude 
reference from some nature site perspective again one point perspective i was like this is looking at draw box shapes again some little exercises to do there's more yeah so like this square if you were to extend it in perspective these are all the same exact size in theory bird really cool design i saw on pinterest i wanted to mimic it i feel like i did a good job honestly this is kind of what gave me an idea of like this tattoo notion that was good practice more planes gave up this was something in my head I forget exactly what. Okay, this is when I went to meet for a, f a friend for a run. Brought my sketchbook because I wasn't sure if he wasn't he was gonna show up. I don't know if he had woken up yet because he was working, so it's fine. Yeah, but I drew instead, which is again another habitual win. Oh, this is from how I met your mother when Ted's looking out over the city. I don't know. I just feel like it was a it was a, an emotional shot. You know, the fox looks better than I remember it. Ish. Good thinking through though. Yeah. So every time I would like not be impatient, I was kind of like, okay, good job, brother. Another hummingbird. I actually kind of really like this one. The tail definitely fell off there. Nice little things to doodle. I drew a bug and then I drew things on that bug. Simple enough. This is uh, from Pinterest. Surprisingly okay. Uh, this is, I think, Finn from Adventure Time. Something happened and I started watching Adventure Time again. Yeah. Unemployed life. More shapes more pinterest references i think this is jet jet yeah i don't know what the arms are just not proportionally correct <laughs> jet's looking ripped little guy i was doodling this one concerned me <laughs> i was like am i okay what i just kind of started drawing in it i don't know it reminds me of like a minecraft gas but like a little more realistic and then try to draw a hand it looks really wonky i don't know why the face looks so creepy this is i lost the construction here yeah this is also from pinterest Tried to one point's perspective with nine cubes, a classic exercise. Bird in a branch, felt kind of good, honestly. Person on a sidewalk, I like that I kind of maintain perspective. I know that the person, the proportions are not maintained. Something went wrong, I didn't even draw the other leg. I do like the fact that the environment is there. You know it's kind of like hills or an environment or whatever. It's not, you know, it doesn't have to be super detailed. Like that's not the focus of this sketch. Scarves hang up in my closet. Uh, I was watching TV and I was like, I need to draw. Again, clothing. Kind of cool, honestly. I'm just kind of messing. I'm kind of, I've I've been learning perspectives since like the eighth grade. Like that's when I first learned about it. When I was what, 14? I don't know how old I was in the eighth grade. Maybe a little earlier, but that's when I first like really learned about it in, in an environment of like proper drawing techniques, I'll call it, I guess. Trying to elaborate more on the mannequin here. But yeah, perspective is starting to come up a lot because I can, I'm starting to, to bend the rules in a way that may, helps me understand them more. Again, gestures. I found this thing online, solo artist curriculum, starts with Proko's gesture course. So trying to get a lot of gestures in. These fill up pages are really fast. I'm still definitely figuring out the line of action. On the Pinterest reference, I think these are pants I saw on Pinterest and I was like, oh, those have like interesting folds to them. Cause you have this open part on the leg and then it, I don't know. I just thought it was cool. And as someone who wears nothing but simple clothing, I think that's kind of ironic. More shapes, more doodles, more line of action. Can't trust Pinterest. Ah, I started drawing a hand and I was like, wait, does that hand have six fingers? So freaking AI is all over Pinterest. I despise it. The process is honestly fun. You should, you know, try it. Uh, the tr process of drawing, honestly. It's frustrating, but whatever. This is the learning experience. This was just a lot of experimenting with perspective. Can lines curve in all these different directions and blah, blah, blah. You know, this is a, a road going up and over, but what would happen to these trees? Because they also need to get thinner. They don't really get thin. Leaves time. I was so, I think I want to say happy. So I feel like I figured out leaves. I think it was here. I just, I kept, something kept messing up. And then I was like, oh my God, I did it. I figured out that, because what I kept doing was I was go like this, right? You draw one line with an arrow and then you go from the outside and just down and you go from here and you go a little higher and down, but it doesn't look good. So what I realized, this is me figuring out leaves in my head. You, you know, go outside down. This one comes out to the left and kind of goes around, do a little curve, boom, you have a leaf. And that, that was like a huge discovery for me. Like drawing the steps out, realizing what was happening, and I was like, yes, dude, let's go. You know, doing the branches exercises. I remember all the like exercise instructions from Drawbox, so it's really easy now at least to like, if I want to draw and I don't want to draw what's in front of me or whatever, or I don't have the confidence to try a portrait, I can just like, hey, leaves, branches, <laughs> you know, cubes in space, cylinders. Okay, this was a clear sticky note that I was using to trace. I, I'm i trying to use tracing as an instructional method. This is interesting. In theory, the top of this shape is, is further away, but then this, like it's behind this little guy, but then this is in front of the guy. So something needs to happen here. I'm still not sure what exactly, but I'll figure it out. 
in theory. Shape your environment, not yourself. I was listening to like long YouTube videos and podcasts while I was doing this. Fisheye lens stuff. This is interesting because there's a lot when you start doing it and you don't look at the book. I mean, it's kind of like studying. It, it is studying, I guess. That's what um, this sticky note is for. Study so hard the test is easy. Learning how you perceive things. That's what art has kind of become in a way. Drew a box, did these lines from the how to draw book and tried to make it so that the, the thing was in the center and the leaves extended to each end of it. It ends up all right. <laughs> like, okay. I don't know. Pinterest reference again. Again, bird. Uh, feathers, cool. Rose kind of turned out okay. This was from reference using um, petal principles from Drawbox. Something I'm forgetting the fold over from for some petals. It's so it looks good on first glance, but I feel like if I were it's like it's AI, it's like something doesn't sit right <laughs> in a way. Also from Pinterest, um, again, I just found it fascinating how the like stretchy fabric I think has has different folds but it they behave differently because it's like this shirt is baggy but if i put on like um i don't know like a workout shirt or something that's a little tighter like for jujitsu then it the stretches are, are just different and i don't know for some reason i find that fascinating freaking figured it out like second to last the last page i figured out the blob i realized that as you go back and over like these aren't perfect i know but when this goes back and over you have to realize that what connects here i'm sure there's some mathematical proportion of like how much of this shit like if you see this in planes of three when this disappears over the back you see this one the whole way this one cuts off early this one cuts off way earlier when in my head previously i was like oh this shape this plane this lighter plane goes all the way over which is false same thing here this darker one goes all the way around right but this gray one cuts off earlier lighter one form intersections finally got to it i don't know why i inked at the end of the cylinder there so yeah i don't know that's my sketchbook tour 